In this short video, I will show you how to leverage dynamic tools and commands in AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 to model and edit corridors. I will present how to expand existing corridor to include circular area at the end of the residential road, how adjusting parameters such as frequency, horizontal and vertical targets and styles change the representation and accuracy of the corridor model and also how section corridor can be used in substituting one assembly for another. AutoCAD Civil 3D corridor modeling can be used to create dynamic and flexible 3D models of roads, railways, channels and runways, which can be most complex data-rich objects in civil engineering design. In this example, I'm expanding already designed residential road by introducing a turning area at its end. Part of the corridor starting at the junction has already been created using junction wizard and stretched each way using corridor grips. I have already designed horizontal alignment representing circular curb line which I'm going to add as an additional baseline for my corridor. I'm selecting corresponding vertical alignment and create a corridor region in which one of the cross sections inserted automatically when designing junction will be reused. Corridors are created along one or more baseline alignments by placing a typical cross section and incremental locations and use various objects and data such as profiles and surfaces. Please note that circular area is represented by chords and this can be resolved by increasing the frequency at which cross sections are inserted. Another issue that needs attention is a gap inside of a circle which can be resolved by specifying horizontal targets assembly should be extended to. Changing style to solid hatching reveals another issue. I have residential entrances on both sides of the road, yet the cross section used does not allow me to model them correctly. I can use corridor section editor, which helps to better understand the problem here. As you can see in the top pane, the cross section shows curb, footpath and embankment instead of a driveway at this location. This can be resolved by splitting the corridor into smaller regions and introduce cross sections which include left, right or both drivers, driveways or perhaps by creating an offset to assembly. I decided however to use change assembly command and select conditional cross sections created before. This is more flexible solution especially in situations when where many entrances are located and overlap on both sides of the road. The software decides how inserted cross-section will behave at stations where defined condition exists. The results can be observed in the top window in section editor or again on the top window in the model space. 